What's going on, people? It's DJ Sketch. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are all doing good. Check it out. This is the first time actually playing some Black Ops 3 in a little while, actually, because I really haven't been playing this much. I've been playing a lot more Overwatch and Doom. Obviously, the Doom multiplayer, most people are trying to knock it, but I don't think it's that bad, and I'm actually enjoying it, even though I go on it in really short kind of intervals, but even still, it helps keep it fresh to me. What I wanted to talk about real quick today is actually a buddy of mine that I've been playing Overwatch with a lot. Actually, it's one of the homies who used to play uh, Destiny with a lot, too. I actually was saying, like, man, you're such a COD fanboy. Like, Watchmen, come November, you're going to pre-order Infinite Warfare. And actually, <laughs> it made me think about it, and actually, I wanted to make a video considering this topic. Because I really have no interest in pre-ordering Advanced Warfare at all. I really don't. Or Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, whatever. Because there's really no incentive to do it, at least as far as I've seen. I mean, you don't get a break on the price with the, what is it, the COD 4 remaster? There's no break, so what's the point? Am I going to get, like, an extra skin? Or, I mean, they really weren't even, like, I guess they had weapon camos and shit. But they really announced no incentive to want to pre-order this shit. So I really have no interest to. And also for that, like, honestly, I'm going to wait for the price to drop on that, just to be completely completely 100 with you because until if I'm gonna get it at all I'm definitely gonna wait until that price drops down a bit and if you can get that $90 package down to 60 or $70 maybe you might be able to get my attention again but until something like that happens I really have no interest in dropping like almost $100 on a Call of Duty game for just the base <laughs> not even including like a season pass or the DLC, you like, you know they're gonna tack on to it. So you know, that's just one of those things because, man, I just I don't think that's gonna be a great idea. I mean, maybe the game will be good, maybe it won't. I mean, I guess we can see what happens when E3 rolls around next week because that will be the reveal of the multiplayer section of it. So we can see if that's gonna maybe turn the tide a bit, maybe get some people on board with it because it seems like. <laughs> I've never seen a trailer be this this disliked. It's honestly kind of hilarious, but at the same time, it's like really not giving the community what they were asking for or what they wanted. So I really don't know what they expect. And um, oh man, I was getting close to getting fucking nuclear here. I was so close. I think I was like five, maybe five or six sexual gun kills off, and then this motherfucker is about to get me right about here. Yep, <laughs> son of a bitch. But so close. But even still, man, as I was saying before, maybe after E3, maybe that will maybe give some people a little bit of hope or something to look forward to with Infant Warfare. But I, again, I don't know, it's looking kind of dicey. Because you see Activision and most of the Call of Duty developers, with the exception of Sledgehammer, because really no one's heard shit from them since Advanced Warfare. And, uh,. You see them kind of putting things in the game to try to pique some interest and keep people actually wanting to, you know, fucking play these games. Because, man, there was, like, what, double XP week? There's been, like, double something on Black Ops 3 pretty much every weekend. Now they're trying to make it easier to get the supply drop weapons with weapon bribes. And, like, they brought back contracts from Black Ops 1, which they completely skipped in Black Ops 2, which I thought was kind of interesting. And, uh... What else? And uh, I haven't played any of the other Call of Duties lately, so I couldn't say what they're trying to run as incentive. I bet there's probably some supply drop shit with Advanced Warfare right now, too. That wouldn't be surprising. And, uh, you know, another thing with this is I wonder if there's going to be a beta test for Infinite Warfare or not, because maybe that could, maybe that could turn some people's, turn some attention to that. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not, though. Because they haven't said any, I imagine if it was going to be, they probably would have said something by now. But also, they didn't really announce the Black Ops 3 beta last year until just about when it was going to happen either. So, only time will tell on that one. So, we won't be able, we won't know till it happens. But also, the main thing I'm really going to stress, and I'm sure that everybody else is going to be, probably would agree with, I just say wait for the price drop. Because I think, because with the pre orders being as low as they are, which they. I'm sure they've noticed, because most people just really have no interest in picking this up, especially with the lofty price tag that's on it. And seriously, I'd say wait for the price drop, and then, whoop bam uppercut. <laughs> Tiger, uppercut. 
Yeah, wait for that that fucking price to get uppercutted real quick. And let that actually, uh, it's honestly, I, I wouldn't pay, honestly, I, just with the state of how it is right now, I honestly wouldn't even pay 60 bucks for it, just to be, keep it real with you. But, we'll just have to wait and see what they might have in store, because I'm not going to say 100% I'm not buying this, because I, I don't know. I know I'm not going to buy it on release day for the, I guess the price they have on it right now. Like, no. <laughs> I just have no interest in doing that because the last Infinite Infinity War game that I even played, Ghost, really didn't like it. It wasn't the worst game I ever played, but really wasn't the best either. And Advanced Warfare, again, like I just well, I didn't really enjoy that one for more than like a few weeks either. It just got old really fast. I mean, Black Ops 3 is still fun because going back and trying Black Ops 1 again, like, oh, God, I actually kind of thought that game was kind of awful compared to the shit that's out now, which I never thought I would say, but some food for thought, man, but I'll see you guys in the next one, thanks again for checking out the vid, peace.